Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the third episode of The Road to Remaster. Okay, I'm proud of myself. I just said episode three. Okay, I don't get very far in series. I never have. Okay, it's day one. Alright, GTA 5. We were supposed to do nine videos of all of my characters things okay I got two episodes in that was I did two of three episodes just for Franklin and then I kinda just fell off okay we didn't do episode three because I forgot about it then we didn't do Michael and we didn't do Trevor which means we're six videos off but that's like it's, it's too late there's no coming back from that okay anyways <laughs> this video we have a lot to talk about because so much happened I didn't want to just upload like uh, gameplay from way back when and not have anything to talk about so uh, now that something has happened we have something to talk about um, so there's no excuses alright we had COD XP biggest tournament of the year for Call of Duty um, it's actually the biggest tournament we've had so far for COD and I know you guys on PC are like oh you peasants we have Dota and League of Legends and your tournaments are like peasant money and chump change to us because we have League of Legends and five billion dollar tournaments and Counter-Strike and PCs and keyboards and mice and blah 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 because we are the PC master race and you're all peasants and I don't know where I'm going with this anyway COD XP 2 million dollar tournament okay <laughs> um, first place envious um, really strong team this year Jesus they were unstoppable okay although if you guys missed it scum turned on apathy so well in uh, fringe CTF oh my good Jesus Christ on a bicycle it was crazy not gonna get a touch of the flag and apathy behind enemy lines he's gonna be able to pick up one apathy just trying to stay alive we talk about how karma is the x-factor for optic here is your x-factor for envy and somehow the just route just around. working out perfectly he's found every gap in the defense he's shaking them back and forth he comes up behind oh! Oh! God, he just gets destroyed by Scump. He wins that. He might be able to get out the mid window. Scump's turn on him was crazy. Envious, uh, unfortunately, knock Optic out into the loser's bracket. And then me being a Green Wolf fan, obviously. Um, Optic then get knocked out by Cloud9 in the loser's bracket, which means they are completely out of the tournament. Um, you phase guys out there, uh, if you guys also don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure they got knocked out by Millennium in the losers bracket as well. So Optic and FaZe got a joint 7th uh, slash 8th place. Um, which is pretty much the same as last year for Optic. They also got 7th seven place, place last year too. Um, so yeah, neither of those big teams did well. I mean they did I, you know. They did, I, <laughs> uh, they did get out of pool play, but Optic's pool play, uh, they didn't go undefeated. They got beaten by Complexity. So I think they got out of the pool play 2-1. Something like that, I think. Um, so they just about got out of pool play. Uh, then as soon as they got out of the pool, they had to play Envy in their first game. Which was quite dumb, I don't know how that happened, but... It pretty much meant that Optic couldn't lose a match the entire tournament after being knocked into the loser's bracket. So they had to then play Infused for their first game in the loser's bracket, I think. Then uh, Luminosity got knocked down into the loser's bracket too. So they were the next um, team that Optic had to beat and they, they, they beat Luminosity. Um, now Luminosity, might I add, were a very strong team. You got Study, Nameless, um, who else is on that team? I, I don't want to get into that, but they're a really strong team. And they're the guys that knocked out uh, Optic Gaming in the... What tournament was it? It was Single Elimination they got knocked out of um, by Luminosity, but yeah. They're a really strong team, so Optic did knock those out, and then 
came to Cloud9, they got knocked out by those. That was a close game, really intense, absolutely insane. I, it shouldn't have been that intense. I don't know how that happened, okay? Optic kind of just fell apart. And GG's to um, C9, they actually did really well. They uh, they got a conjoint, conjoint fifth and sixth with Rise Nation. So they did really well. Um, but yeah. Cloud9, I don't like the way they reacted to winning against Optic Gaming. Not, not many people do. Like, I get it. You just beat the biggest name in the game. All right. You just, you just won. Like, the the thing I didn't like about it was the fact that they celebrated as if they'd won the entire tournament. Like, they just become COD XP champions. Okay. That was the part that I didn't like. So, they got up. They were like. Ricky, if you guys see, if you saw Ricky, um, he got up, he looked over to Optic Gaming, and he was like, you're all trash, he was waving his hands in the air, shouting and screaming about it, I, I don't know how Optic just sat there and like, I don't know, I, I don't know, but yeah, they reacted really stupidly to it, and obviously the next game they played they get knocked out too, so, they didn't go far. They got a little further than Optic Gaming and FaZe Clan and whatnot, but yeah. So, there was that. Um, then, what else did we have at Car XP? There was things like the Nuketown Paintball Arena. That looked so sick. I would have loved to have gone there. For any of you guys that were at uh, Car XP, I'm so jealous of you. I looked at all the ticket prices as well. I think it was like 50 bucks. Um, for a normal ticket, so you just get to go play the games, you get to watch everybody play competitive, blah blah blah. And then there was like, um, they eventually, there was there was two other tickets after that, they, I forgot what the second ticket was called, and then the third one was the prestige ticket, which would have cost you $200, um, and you get a digital copy of Infinite Warfare, which is worth $100 on its own, alright? Um, and you get like, VIP passes to the games um, so you can play them before everyone else. You get VIP access to lounges and what whatnot, all that kind of stuff. So it was it was cool. I really wish I could have gone there. It's in California, my favorite state of America. I would have loved to have gone there. It would have been so good. Um, so yeah, I'm jealous of any of you guys that were there. Uh, what else happened? We have the Infinite Infinite Warfare multiplayer reveal. So obviously we have to cover that. Um, how do we feel about it? Are feelings mixed? Have we changed our minds? I'll give you my opinion. Okay, everyone else is giving theirs. I'll give mine. Infinite Warfare doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look like a good game either. Does that make sense? It looks okay. So. It's pretty much Black Ops 3 with different environments and it feels a little different, okay? And I, I can't fully judge the game myself because I haven't played it and neither can the rest of you guys that also haven't played it, okay? It doesn't look really bad, like it doesn't look like a fun game to watch, to be honest, but I've watched a lot of it, it doesn't look exactly terrible. Maybe we could have some gameplay in the background here. Um, just to show you guys if you, if you haven't looked around. But T Martin's uploaded it. I've watched a lot of T Martin. Alia streamed it from the venue. I watched a little bit of that and then switched it off. Um, then Pomage, I've watched every video he's uploaded ever. Because I'm a huge fanboy of Pomage. I fucking love Pomage. He's so good. But um, I watched anything he uploaded and. Even he said that you can't judge the game unless you play it yourself. So, yeah, there's that. You guys that uh, say you're only picking up Infinite Warfare for um, COD 4 Remaster, yeah, I get it. You don't like the look of Infinite Warfare, but you're gonna you're gonna play it no matter what. You're gonna try it out without a doubt anyway so there's not much you can really do about that you're going to 100% try infinite warfare even if you told all your buddies that you're gonna just stick to COD 4 
you'll still try it. I can guarantee you that. So, there's that. In Infinite Warfare in a nutshell for me, it looks okay. Things they did wrong, variants, uh, supply drops are definitely coming back. Uh, specialists, they shouldn't have added specialists to the game. But, I, yeah, things like that. I'm a bit petty about it. I don't like the specialists in Black Ops 3, I never have. Um, at first they were kind of cool, but now they just really piss me off. You whip out a Tempest, BAM, you're dead. I don't know if it's like that for you guys, but I, I just have really bad timing with specialists, so it's just like a waste of the game. Every competitive match I've played since they added it to GBs, you could turn the uh, specialist options off. We did that every single time. <laughs> so, yeah. There's that. Um, the variants, you need to collect scrap and you build prototypes and whatnot. And it, it has stat changes. There's a sniper that you can get a 25 kill streak with and it gives you a tactical nuke. Um, this, there's another one that you get increased damage for shooting someone in the nuts. Stuff like that, okay? Things like that, I guess, don't really matter, but... You know, there's, there's other ones where you have faster reload times. Um, anything that really stat changes the gun in any way, it makes her an unfair game. Because it's based on luck, basically. Um, and that's why nobody liked the Advanced Warfare supply drop system because you could pump your money into that until you got an obsidian steed and then there could be someone else who doesn't have that much money who just plays the game to play the game and open supply drops doesn't get it or there could be that one dude who never plays the game opens his first supply drop BAM out comes the speakeasy and then there's some other dude that pumps his money into it to get the speakeasy and still can't get it you know it's based on just pure luck and that's what nobody likes because it just makes it unfair so that was the one mistake they've really made with infinite warfare that and the motion blur I don't know why they added motion blur to that but yeah uh, if you guys don't know what motion blur is if you're not a like, YouTube editor or editor in any way Basically, if you like, if you move your camera or anything, it'll blur. If something moves, it blurs the screen. Um, so, it's like it swooshes. I'm doing hand movements as I do this and you can't see. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, hard to explain. That's pretty much it for Infinite Warfare. It doesn't look like a bad game. The terminal map looks, oh, it looks like they've done a really good job. It looks pretty much the same. Uh, the windows were boarded up on the side of the map, like near the plane. Uh, what else was there? I don't know. Anyways, COD 4, on the other hand, looks really, really good. Uh, definitely a promising looking game. People still have found like a way to tell or a way to just say this game is gonna suck like this is what everybody wanted and this is what I meant in the last episode of the road to remaster that everyone's gonna be disappointed okay I told you this I, I called it before it happened people are gonna see the game and they're gonna say that it's not the same of course it's not going to be the same it's not supposed to be if you guys don't know what a remaster means it means they remake the game and improve it now I know you all say COD 4 is the perfect COD, but they needed to also bring it up to today's times, if that makes sense. So they added things like uh, kill cams, which is nothing. It's pretty much cosmetic things that they added. I don't know why everyone's complaining about it so much. There's things like the jump spots, or not jump spots, the bounce spots um, that aren't there anymore. Things like that. Um, there's the sniper um, scopes when you aim in it's not a black screen it's like it's blurred out as if you're aiming down the sights in uh, ghosts yeah ghost uh, had that so it's not a black screen I still like that though I prefer that to having the black screen I think it's way better um, then they added things like gold camos for every gun they added 
just like pure cosmetic things like it's not going to really drastically change the game it doesn't change how the game feels it still plays the same that kind of thing so to me it looks like a really really good game I love the like I, I love the whole look of the game it sounds so good I I'm actually excited for it now but I'm just I'm not mad I just I'm in a I told you so kind of stage about COD 4 um, and I will stick by that okay people have seen these gameplays and they're like no it's not the same they've really ruined this game because it's not COD 4 like I, I called that I knew it was gonna happen I just I knew it before it even got there so you guys that are saying it's not the same game it's gonna suck because it's not COD 4 <sighs> you're talking out of your ass I'll be straight up, you, you're just wrong. It's not supposed to be the same game. That's what I'm gonna say. It's not supposed to be the exact same game. It's just a remaster, so it looks better, plays the same, same maps, literally no difference, but the cosmetic things. So, you guys that are still complaining about it, I just don't understand. <laughs> I just have no idea. There's nothing more they could do. There's, it's hard to impress everybody. That's that's another thing to say. It's hard to impress everybody. So I think Infinite Warfare looks okay. I think COD 4 looks amazing. They've done a great job on both games. They really have. The story for Infinite Warfare looks amazing. It just it looks great. Both games are going to be good games. Whether you like Black Ops 3 or not, Infinite Warfare is going to be the same. So, however you feel about Black Ops 3, you're going to feel about Infinite Warfare. There's nothing more you can do. Okay, so, that's how I feel about both games. I think they both look really good. I think that we just have to wait and see. We have to play it ourselves. You can't just judge it before you watch it. Or, you can't just judge it as you watch it. You have to play it to judge it, okay? That's how I've seen this, so... That's that. The final thing I want to talk about, because we have a very long video right now, is could retired pro players be returning anytime soon? So, why do you say that, Connor? Why do you think that pro players might return? So, if you guys don't pay attention to the competitive scene, this doesn't matter, okay? But people like Nade Shot who have just retired, well he hasn't just retired, he retired like halfway through Advanced Warfare. Um, big Timer, uh, Ghosts, that was his last game, and he was really really good. Big Timer was absolutely insane. He hasn't played Black Ops 3 really at all because it's jumping around, that kind of thing he isn't into. And a lot of us aren't into that, I got into it, I, I don't care. But then you got people like Rambo, uh, if you guys don't know who he was he was really really good all right we're talking about really good pro players okay and uh, yeah I think these guys could all return I mean I'm not saying they will I just think it's a very high possibility um, because it's all boots on the ground this is where they started this is what they're good at nature was good and still is a really good card player like He's really good at Black Ops 3, he's really good at these games, but he's back to where he was, COD 4 is where he was. If you guys want to see some gameplay, I'll leave Nature's thing in the description below, not that I need to because he's huge and if you don't watch Nature, then I don't know, but yeah. Uh, Nature, really good player, um, big timer, really, really good player. I feel like they could all come back. I feel like if there was a pro circuit for this game, they could all definitely come back. 100%. Um, big timer, I think in one of Pomage's vlogs, uh, Pomage says like, if there's a pro circuit, would you return? And he's like, yes, 100%. I will return for Call of Duty 4 Remaster. <laughs> Uh, you probably said that as a joke, but if if you're part of the internet, you probably took that seriously. Anyways, guys, that's going to cut it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like and subscribe for some more Call of Duty from me. It's on its way. Uh, 
We have a lot to cover soon. Both games are on their way out. I hope you all did enjoy this video. I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. I love you all. Thank you once again. I'll catch you guys in the next video.